Mold, leaky roofs, bugs, no heat, no AC, and a threat of getting the power shut off. Those are just some of the complaints from tenants at TH Properties. And today, they may be getting some action to help them out. 41 Action News reporter Nick Starling has some new details on a story. And Nick, we've been following this one for months. We sure have, and it's been a very frustrating time for a lot of these tenants scattered through 11 different properties here in the Kansas City Metro as they want some answers. They may get some as U.S. Senator Josh Hawley wants an investigation. If I'm not at home and I come home, I literally have a puddle of water on my floor from the rain coming down. Kenya Rollins. My apartment is infested. They do not come out to fix um, the problems when we want them to fix it. I've went without heat for a whole month. Tanise Hubbard Bailey. My basement floods all the time. We ruined my washing machine and dryer, so ruined everything that was in my basement. My door hangs. Never got it fixed yet. And Edith Shepard are just three of thousands of people impacted by what they call poor living conditions at TEH really owned properties in the KC area. I tell the managers stuff, but they can't do anything unless the owners, you know, give them funds to fix up our place. It's these complaints drawing the attention of Missouri Senator Josh Hawley. He now wants a federal investigation from the U.S. Attorney and the U.S. Department of Housing and Urban Development. In his letter, Holly calls for interim relief, including tenant protection vouchers for residents to find other housing, and writes, in part, taxpayer dollars should not go to landlords who do not provide even basic levels of acceptable housing. The problem is so bad the KC Housing Authority pulled back its funding from TEH Properties, which is more than $600,000 so far this year, and will not let its clients live there anymore. This is the first time in my history at the Housing Authority that we've done that that has been so egregious of a lack of attention that we've essentially banned an owner and said we're not going to do business with you anymore. Many tenants hope this is an eye opener for the property group. You're making money off of us, but you're not doing nothing for us. And, and that's not fair. Those tenants also wondering where the money is going. They're paying their rent, but nothing is getting fixed. We did reach out to that property group many times a day. We have yet to hear back. Reporting live in Raytown, Nick Starling, 41 Action News. Senator Hawley's request for a federal investigation into TEH Realty includes properties in St. Louis. City leaders cited TEH for overflowing trash and condemned some of its apartments. Our sister station in St. Louis talked to TEH Realty employees last week, and they said they haven't been paid in a month. Some who live at apartments in South St. Louis say that without getting their deposits back, they can't afford to move out. Since July, we've reported at least a half a dozen stories on TEH properties here in Kansas City. You can find our coverage on our website, KSHB.com.